welcome back to a new video in today's video i've got my flexi hand which can only mean one of two things either hard gel or acrylic today it's acrylic mm. i've got nelkami's genesis acrylic i've got peach and i have got crystal and i have got violet i love this color so much i liked it so much that i was like right this was the second set i done like the but this is the first proper set i've done since september no the second well the first oh anyway shut up but i was like i've got to use it i've got to use it um, professional speed and monomer i'm using today they also do a medium speed which i do have but currently i'm using up the professional speed one that i had from last time i did acrylic like last year so i'm just gonna yeah i've also been using a dappen dish i'm finding that i'm using up less monomer using the dappen dish than what i was using the mender pump like it's crazy and i'm also using the um a8 acrylic brush from nail Kami. i actually really like this brush as well I'm not just saying that i really do like the brush um oh i've also got sugar shot glitter from nail sugar oh this glitter is so nice you can get 10 percent off using my code natmug10 just saying and i'm also using lily uh once i'd got myself sorted i was like right i'm gonna do a marble but i need another color and i was like right i'm just gonna go simple and use white and lily is their white so also i wanted to show you look this is the this is how they come like they're packaged and they come sealed they're actually when you order from nailcomy they package their stuff really nicely but i wanted to show you how like what's the word anyway this was a little bit of a pain to get off so there's not going to be any like you know um spillage because you don't want any powder spillage that's like the end of the world oh i hate when you get stuff and there's like spillages it's like oh no can't be doing with that right anyway on this nail i'm starting with the middle finger and when i do a marble i like to just put a bead of color at the cuticle area before i carry on with the nail because then i know that the cuticle area is nice and neat and i don't have to you know don't have to worry too much then i'm going to use the white clear and a bit of violet and using the tip of my brush i'm going to marble them and because i'm right-handed i tend to go um bottom left up to top right but if you're left-handed you'll probably want to go left down to right do you see what i mean um i also i don't know what happened here like look i've, I've missed a massive gap <laughs> but i do go back you know what if this happens look just get a little bit of color i'm putting a little bit of white at the bottom but just get look another bead and just fill it in because it's a marble you know there's no you know it looks all right and there's still a bit of a gap at the side but i do sort that out i'm gonna put some glitter through this one right when i pick up my glitter look, i'm just gonna put a bit of white there as well i i like to pick my some people like to pick their raw glitter up with a damp brush and put it onto wet acrylic on the nail i like to pick it up with a small wet bead of clear acrylic and then put it on the nail because then i find that it will sort of set up in that acrylic that I've picked it up with. Sometimes if you put acrylic straight onto a wet nail, if the na if the acrylic that you put the nail on has started to set, it won't hold that glitter in place. And when you come to cap it, like the glitter just moves around and I, I find that really annoying. So that's why I pick up my glitter with a small wet bead of clear acrylic. If you do do this though, you, you do want to make sure that it is small bead and it is a wet bead so that it can you can spread it out um otherwise you will get like you'll start to get you know like bulky nails and you don't want there's nothing worse than bulky nails just saying right this is the ring finger the tip or the free edge what you want to call it the free edge of the nail is going to be a, like a glass glitter like you know like a bit see-through but it's got glitter on and I'm going to put a little bit of wet acrylic over this as well. Again, just to make sure that it stays in place when I come to do the... This is going to be like an ombre. So when I come to do the ombre, that is going to... The acrylic's going to set up and that glitter's not going to go anywhere because I can't I can't bear it. The pinky's going to be an ombre as well. So I've just put a little bead of violet and I'm working it down the nail. I love this this particular color of this acrylic i really love it it's just I, oh, I love pastels though i love pastels and i love purples so it's just a me color <laughs> um right i'm taking a bead of peach now and i'm gonna put this at the cuticle area on the ring finger 
and then we are going to blend it down over that glitter so I, I just make sure because it's look it's starting to fall into the side walls just sort of scoop it out because if that happens you'll if you don't sort it out you'll get lifting and you don't want lifting ideally you don't really want it to go into the side walls at all <laughs> but i did because i'm not very good Okay, I'm going to do the same on this one. So this is an ombre. So we're going to ombre it with this peach again. And again, I'm going to... Sometimes I put like... Sometimes I... Depending on what the colour is, I'll put like a small bead of the cover colour where the first colour blend finishes. And then I'll go in with another bead. But this colour is a nice sort of soft pastel-y colour. So it ombres quite nicely. I will cap this one in a minute, but we're gonna go and do the index finger before we do that. So this one is pretty simple, pretty simple, like me. But you know what, simple is good. I don't like complicated. No, 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 complicated is it's complicated, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm putting a you can work quite wetly, wetly, wetly. You can work quite wet with this um this particular colour as well. It's really nicely pigmented. So it's yeah, so you can get like a nice thin layer of this. But I went in with two beads, because why not? And then over the top of this, I am gonna put the the glitter, but I'm gonna do a a glitter swoosh. A glitter swoosh I'm doing. <laughs> why? Why do I say glitter like that? I don't know why I say it like that. I'm really bizarre. Some things you just, just get into little habits, don't you? Yeah, that's one of mine. It's probably a very annoying one for you guys, but I'm sorry. Okay, so we're doing a glitter swoosh. Again, I've picked the glitter up with a small wet bead of clear acrylic. And then I will, I'll just sort of, I'll go back to a different nail. And... It's like an earthquake, but it's not, it's my children. Um, what am I doing? Yes, right, we're going to cap them now. So using the crystal acrylic, I'm going to place it sort of at the apex area. And then I'm just going to push it back a little bit so that it kind of, just to thin it out. And then I'm going to work it down. And because this bead didn't make it all the way down the nail, it, it sort of, I, 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 if I'd picked up a bit more acrylic, Probably could have made it all the way down the nail but there's not enough product at the bottom at the free edge so i'm just going to pick up another small bead just to make sure that the glitter at the free edge is capped i don't put a massive apex on these nails because i don't need to because this is not a real client if your client's quite heavy-handed then you might have to give them as you know like a slightly bigger apex but i yeah i'm always i'm always still boys you'll annoy the neighbors darling no I, I know i know um sorry about that i um yeah so i don't have to i'm not making these nails like they're gonna be they're gonna have an apex but it's probably not gonna be the world's biggest apex <clears throat> but then not everyone wants the world's biggest apex do they <laughs> oh, what am I about? I, f I feel really bizarre. I no, I feel really odd sometimes talking about um, technical stuff because I, 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 d I filed these by the way. They've been filed, and I'm going to top coat them using Nail Kami's non wipe top coat. We've got to go shiny today, haven't we? Yeah, I don't because I um I don't do clients and stuff, and I feel like I, although I only I only qualified like I think I qualified three and a half years ago, but because I don't I can't remember half the stuff. So I feel really weird talking about the technical side of nails. Because I forget, I forget it. And I feel, I don't know, I, I almost feel like I'm not qualified. But I am, I promise you I am. I've got certificates and stuff. I don't know, it's really weird. I can't retain information very well. S silly things I can remember, but certain things. If I, don't, if I don't repeat things often, then I just forget. I need to, do you know what I mean? Is anyone else like that? Just generally forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> um how nice does look oh i love oh my god it's top coating time i haven't said it's top coating time we haven't done that for ages have we it's top coating time yes it is baby oh, i love top coating time it's like the best do you know what 
I love the marble and I love the ring finger. I do also, by the way, um, I do cure these and then I, I do top coat underneath that glitter, uh, ring finger glitter nail. Because that, if you top coat underneath that, that just makes it even more crystally clear. Yeah. Oh, I look, I love them. I love them so much. Oh, by the way, you can get 10% off a Flexi hand as well at the Flexi Finger Australia. Um, but all any discount codes and stuff I have will be in the description box below. And also now Kumi's website, I'm going to link in the description box below. I don't have a code for those, but just go and check them out anyway, because I love their acrylics. They're so nice. Pop that in. 30 seconds later. Oh my god, I love these. Probably my favourite acrylic set this year. <laughs> There we go. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Just take a few seconds to appreciate that shine. Oh, isn't that like... Oh, I do love a good shiny top coat. And the glitter. Hello, glitter. I like these. I'd wear these. I wouldn't really. They're too long for me. <laughs> anyway, I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. Love you all. Bye.